And this is the long-awaited weekly rough show. And here are your hosts, Yoyo and Nora. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello and welcome to Twiss, the weekly rough show. This week things are a bit unusual because as you can see we are driving but we are not driving. And our engine is turned off but we still move forward. And we are going to be on Dutch television. Mm -hmm. And for the rest we don't know what's happening yet so this is kind of improvised. But let's just watch the first clip together. You would need a solution for this. No rain. Oh, yeah. It's early in the morning, like 9 o'clock or something. And today we'll get a visit by a Dutch television team. And they will film us. And we film ourselves as well. So a lot of filming going on here. After we got most of the water out of the canoe, the pirates brought Flautier and René to our anchor spot. Hey guys. Morning. Morning. Morning! Super nice. So nice, uh, these two guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. A week before, we got contacted by one of the producers of the Dutch TV show, Flautier na het einde van de welt. Or however this is pronounced. A week later they already showed up and were planning to follow us for the next three days. And after weeks of almost always sunny weather, those three days should bring the most rain so far. But we could use the downtime for some language exchange. Yes, that was it! Mega lekker. <laughs> I've heard, I've met so many Dutch traveling and that's what they always say. Mega lekker. <laughs> mega lekker. Do you know what it means? Mega. Mega. A great. Delicious. Super delicious. Yes. But you can also say it for a person, not just yeah. for food. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he's lekker. Mm. Okay, I will give you more power. Yeah. Yeah, these people understand your sense of humor, Renee. <laughs> it's not so or normal. <laughs> or, yeah, and then also, okay, you can do it yourself. I just gave the batteries here. Since we got the chance to learn from professionals, we wanted to know how to ask good questions in our interview of the week. So I think it's interesting that if you have guests, you make a, I should make a connection with you. Yeah, we always all have the connection of how we met that person. Yeah. And how we, so we always show a little bit more than just the interview card. Mm -hmm. And then we just, yeah, what, what's like, what do we want to get out of it? Just. Well, let's start, let's roll the camera. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So because um, as an as an interviewer, what question should we ask? Me. People we meet. Are you That's a good question. What do you want out of it? <laughs> Why do you want people to listen to me instead of you? The, the YouTube videos are about you, the channel. Why, why are you here? I'm here to see you. <laughs> 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 to talk to you, both of you. Because I think your life is uh, inspiring and interesting. And uh, as a journalist uh, that makes a show about people living at, at the end of the world, I'm fascinated by the fascinated by people who actually choose a different lifestyle than regular ones. You know, who wants to live in a tent for a year? <laughs> who's, who's sending a message out of nowhere? Can I live with you in the tent just for the experience? I'm fascinated by the by the outsiders in that sense. Who mm. choose a different path. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That helps for the video. Yeah, yeah. Uh uh Renee. Yeah. Give it back. <laughs> 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 so 
So as a camera woman, you probably have been to many different places, mm -hmm. a lot of different experiences. Was there one where you came back and something changed in your life or you learned something essential for your life? And if yes, like, what yes. was it? Good question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's strange because from every um, day or every uh, travel you pick something out of it and you learn mm -hmm. something uh, what feeds you um, from the people you film or the surrounding or things you experience mm -hmm. um, yeah I had uh, one trip with uh, Floortje uh, the host and we went five weeks uh, uh, away to a very um, remote island and it was super quiet and after five weeks we returned home and we were not used to all the sounds anymore so the brains changed into something different I think like uh, everything irritated every sound irritated so uh, I learned that brains adapt very fast mm -hmm. in, in, yeah, in these circumstances so would you ever live very remote? Mm, no, I think I will miss my family too much <laughs> and um, I notice that I reflect every trip I make or, uh, it's, uh, it doesn't matter if it is full work or not but then you take distance from the situation at home and you've got a, like a helicopter view about it and think hey where am I, what do I want, yeah, am I still on the good route mm. Do I steal what I still love? So it's always a reflection moment for myself. Yeah, so um, do I want to live remote? Mm, I like to visit the remote places, but not to live because, yeah, my family is too close. It's, yeah, I want to be uh, more with my family. Mm. It's maybe even nice that we also have a, bo a bit where, the, where it rains when mm -hmm. we sail. And then mm -hmm. Renee stands outside. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> they have like a boat and then they also build a raft and on it is an auto oh, kitchen nice. is under the roof. Oh, let's go there. Yep. <laughs> so we move or we don't need to film Yeah, what is it? Reason? So we end with the interview and then uh, la 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 la. And then we still have to go off if we try that we go off. No, we go off. trying to make like a caravan kind of thing to connect the boat and the two rafts together and the, the boat will then tow all of us and it's going to be quite interesting and we can save some petrol well, I think I'll, I'm going to start up our engine now uh, you can uh, untie us there already thanks From time to time I find myself in situations where I need to take a step back and observe what's happening from a distance. To see where I am and how I got there. Because being in that moment, the thing you are doing might feel quite common to you. 
when it indeed is rather exceptional. And that is what we strive for. Not to ask what would be the normal thing to do, but rather combine all your time, resources and ideas to create a unique life. <laughs> That's so much fun. It's so, <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> As you maybe can see, Jack is preparing some dinner for us, so we don't have to drive and we don't have to cook. That's why we can make segments like this in between and completely improvise without knowing what the rest of the show will be like. So here's the next clip. After some time out on the lake, we took advantage of the infrastructure in the guest harbor in Lennartsford, using luxurious things like running hot water, sinks and... Next stop, laundry. This means laundry room. Breakfast and trash. With food in our stomachs and washed hair under our heads, we went again through the locks we already knew from last week. This time filmed for a wide audience in the Netherlands. We figured out that Floortje must be quite famous in her country, since every Dutch person we met throughout the whole summer knew her and her show. So no pressure at all while steering through the gates. Since Marie the lockkeeper took such good care of us when going through the lock, we wanted to ask her questions as well in our second interview of the week. What was it? This is the first question. Oh yeah, how many steps do you take a day? <laughs> uh, during high season I will take about 25,000 each day. day. Yeah. And a normal year I have like 6,000 vessels going through. It can be pretty long days, and especially when it's slow and no traffic. What do you love about your job? Your job. This part, I meet all these kinds of different people from pretty much all around the world. Uh, I have to be outside all day. That's the best part, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. Actually, my father became a lockkeeper the year before I did. And I thought, wow, this seems nice. The first year I was only here to try the lock keeping job and that was like 2014 so yeah, I'm still trying and I love this place so I moved up here. When I first came here um, I started doing the lock keeping job and everyone was curious so they came down here to visit me um, and then when I moved up here I started uh, having yoga classes for the people around here so I learned to know everyone and and of course I have my have my dog my, and I walk with, I walk with him and, and it's it's tough kind of coming into a small society right? when you're when you're like from big city big, yeah. Yeah. But I think I'm I think I'm really good how yeah. many people live here um I think it's about 250 all year Thank you so much. What we didn't know when we were recording these segments mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. that we will have the drawing for the drawing of Evelina in this episode. So let's now find out well, who won. We, we turned the camera around. Yeah, uh, we are here at a uh, unknown lock yet. We haven't been here with the raft, but you will see this in the future episodes. Anyway, we are about to uh, look for the winner of the, the the contest from the print from Evelina. Uh, yes, we have here a 
uh, uninvolved person, uh, Markus the lock keeper. And yeah, we will now write down all the names of the people who participated. Okay, so you can confirm that there's just one, one of each, one of each in there. Okay. Aye. So, so I think um, you can, can can show your hand that there's nothing, nothing on it, and then look in the distance and, and draw. Oh, oh, oh no, wait, we, we need a bit more, more tension. Maybe we can add some music. When <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think it's playing now the music. Okay. But don't look in the head. And yes. So, where is that? Oh, oh. Uh, is it this one? Oh, there, there, it's, it's two, I think. It's two. Yes, okay. Okay, so that's just one. Okay, and drum roll. And, and it is? The winner is Matthias from Sweden. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Matthias. That's at least some cheap shipping costs. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not too far away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much uh, for no your problem. help. Uh, we will see you in a future video because this is now actually not now. In it's in the future. It's in the future, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. So this was it for this week's episode uh, of the Weekly Rob Show. See you next week. I just continue no matter what the mistake is. That's the wise saying for this week. Float well. well.